In this video, we take a first look at some brand new tilt shift lenses from Canon and do some test shots. Coming up. The following content is brought to you in part by vidIQ, the number one Chrome extension platform for YouTubers looking for on-point data analysis, research resources, and enhanced video creator tools. Start gaining more views in less time today by signing up for free at vidIQ.com. That's vidIQ.com. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES at the Canon booth, super inspired here, visionaries welcome, and we've been checking out some brand new tilt shift lenses that were recently released. Now, of course, Canon's TSE 24 and 17 millimeter have been some popular tilt shift lenses for years now, but just in the last few months, they released three brand new lenses, a 50 millimeter tilt shift, 2.8, a 90 millimeter at 2.8, and a 135 f4. Now, if you've never heard of tilt shift lenses before, they are super cool lenses, a lot of times used for creative applications and architecture, especially for the wider focal lengths. 24 millimeter, 17 millimeter, what you can do is because you can tilt the axes and shift the lens and, uh, and tilt the lens like this, as well as tilt it this way and that way, you can correct distortion when shooting architecture. Now, the 50 millimeter gives you enough wideness to do a few, say, landscape or architecture shots, but this line of tilt shift lenses is gonna be more geared towards product photography, commercial portraiture, high-end photography, because you can create a lot of cool effects with these lenses. For example, normally when you are focusing a lens, the depth of field is just kind of front to back, right? The person's in focus, it's blurry behind you. But with a tilt shift lens, you actually kind of create a wedge of focus. So we were shooting some test footage of McKenna, and we were actually able to have straight on one eye in focus and the other eye not in focus. But if you think about that, maybe you want to create some sort of a creative shot, or maybe you actually have the person tilted and you're trying to kind of create a wedge and get both eyes in focus or different aspects of a watch or a piece of jewelry or a product in focus. So there's tons of different creative applications that you can produce. Additionally, what a lot of professionals will use this for is the fact that if you were gonna stitch some photos together, some people might use like a tripod and they might put the camera here, 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 and stitch a landscape photo together or something like that. With the tilt shift lens, you don't move the sensor. So you could lock the camera down, take a photo here, come up a bit, take a photo there, go all the way up, take another photo, and then stitch all of those photos together. The depth of field can be the same. Every detail can be perfectly tack sharp. And that's something to mention with these lenses. Because they're actually larger than the sensor, you have edge to edge sharpness that's kind of unparalleled in any other lenses. And they're all macro. So that means great for close up shots, creative shots. And that's why a lot of people would use these for product photography and commercial work. And actually probably one of my favorite standout features about these lenses is that typical macro lenses are one to one as far as the magnification. And this is actually one to two. And what that means is you can actually get a lot closer um, and still have that tilt shift functionality. So for instance, we do a lot of product videography and photography. And if I'm shooting, say like something on a flat surface, I don't want to necessarily open my aperture wide up to lose my depth of field. So this part is in focus, but then that's not in focus. But with one of these macro lenses, macro tilt shift lenses, you're able to do that perspective correction, make sure the whole image is tack sharp while still being in a macro perspective. So what is the investment on these lenses? Well, actually all three of these new tilt shift lenses from Canon come in at $2,199 at the time of shooting this video here in the US. And of course for Think Media, you know, that's, that's up there. It's definitely designed for pro work, pro photographers. But I want to encourage you that tilt shift lenses can really level up your game and you could even look into maybe older models, the refurbished ones on the Canon website, even shop around for maybe some used tilt shift lenses because there's so many cool effects that you can create with them. Definitely, if you're shooting like automotive photography, landscape or architecture, if you want to do some creative stitching for portraiture, you know, there is some very, very powerful effects that you can do with creating tilt shift lenses. So do your research, check them out, and I hope that this video kind of gives you an overview of what you could achieve with tilt shift.
question of the day. Have you ever used a tilt shift lens before? What was your experience with them and what are some of the creative applications that you use them for? Let me know in the comment section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And for other videos in our CES series, just click or tap the screen right there. For another video for Think Media, click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.